Hey freaks, welcome to Frequency's Let's Play of Castlevania for the NES via the Wii's Virtual Console Episode 1. And honestly, it might be the only episode in this series because the game is incredibly short, but it is also incredibly difficult in some areas, and I honestly don't know if I can complete it in one episode. But we're going to give it a try, so let's go. I downloaded this game, I don't know, about seven years ago, I think. And, oh, let's let's reset. There we go. All right, I've never played it on the regular NES, and my friends never had this game uh, when they had NES, so uh, up until about seven years ago, at the time of this episode, is when I first played it. And it is awesome, especially the music. Dun, 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 dun. So you are Simon Belmont. For any of you who don't know, you are Simon Belmont. You are hunting Dracula. Uh, jump! Oh, there's a bonus thing over there. If you can jump. So you're in Simon Belmont, and you have a whip, which is actually upgraded right now to a... Uh, like, I think it's called a Morning Star. Basically a huge spike ball and chain. And uh, you're going through... Uh, Dracula's castle right now fighting off ghouls and goblins and all that good stuff and this is pretty sure that's a dog demon dog thing go up these stairs and uh, these candles oh I have to go all the way downstairs the candles uh, every time you destroy them they will give you something uh, usually ammo in the form of hearts which is very bizarre oh there's that's uh, good. That's holy water, I believe in that. Okay, I guess we'll, we're getting that. That is a stopwatch, which can stop enemies all in their tracks for two or three seconds, I believe. Problem with the stopwatch is it, it consumes a lot of ammo. Ugh. A lot of points there. You can just kind of farm for points if you want. Um, more points you get, more... Uh, lives you can accumulate. I believe it's 30,000 for one extra life. And there's a crucifix that'll, like that, destroy all enemies on the screen. Which, I usually get those in the in the worst places, because like right there, why would I need a crucifix right there? I'm just about to go to the next part of the stage. So yes, uh, the hearts are ammo out of all things. Why, why can't it be health? It's so bizarre. Now that's health right there. That's a pork chop, and I don't really need it. Okay, I guess I don't need it. It's gonna go away. Dissolve. It's been in the wall for who knows how long. I'm not sure why you would want to eat that anyway. It's probably all dusty and moldy and nasty. <laughs> eh, fishmen. Luckily, they can't jump. Please go away. Okay, you'll go like that. Die. Meow. Now, uh, most of the jumps... What am I saying? Most of my deaths, whenever I play this game, come from... Oh! Almost died right there. That would have been a good example. Most of my deaths come from me uh, falling off a ledge due to getting hit. Every time you get hit, you jump backwards. Which is super annoying. Very unhelpful. And another problem... Uh, it's one of the reasons why the game is so hard. And another reason is because you cannot move while mid... You cannot change direction while in midair. There's another crucifix. There was just a bat there. Uh, why give me those there? How about giving them somewhere else? More helpful. Oh, that's invisibility. Which only lasts like... What was that like? Three, four seconds. It can be helpful in some situations, but not really right there. Okay, so here's the first boss of the level. And we're gonna do this. I now have a double attack, and as you can see, I have this like double axe, which does a lot of damage. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Simple. Simple. Now you just get the red orb for some reason, and you win. Now, uh, the double axe is really is really powerful against enemies. It just he, it, he doesn't throw it in a straight line. He throws it in an arc, 
which can be really annoying. So you kind of have to time your attacks just right. And um, that last thing that I picked up, not before the red orb, um, you can see it at the top right of the screen, is uh, Roman numeral 2. That means you have a double attack. And now this is a... I'm going to get it so it doesn't go away. I'm going to show you. This is a boomerang, which doesn't really look like a boomerang at all, but it is. Uh, every time you get a new special weapon, your double attack and sometimes even triple attack will uh, disappear. As you can see I don't have the Roman numeral 2 anymore. That means I can only throw this one at a time now. I'm going to go down here and get those points. But that's okay because uh, this weapon is uh, really good, especially against certain enemies. Uh, like this bat, for instance. Just like that. Now the problem with the boomerang is... Even though it can come back to you, like so, your ammo doesn't replenish. So I had 15 before I threw that, now I have 14. And even though it came back to me, I don't have 15 ammo anymore, which is kind of ridiculous. And I don't know why you would need ammo to throw a boomerang. I'm going to get this guy because he can be kind of a pain. And we're not going to go down there, there's no point. There we go. Bum, bum, ba -dum. But, uh, go through here. I don't know all the secrets and uh, like things to get in the game and every level, but I know enough to get by at least. And all these Medusa heads are one of the worst enemies, if not the worst enemy in the game. Well, no, I, for me, I'm not getting that. That was a dagger. I don't want the dagger. The dagger is like the worst special weapon in the game. But anyway, back to enemies. The the Medusa heads are the second hardest enemy for me. Do that. Aha! Oh, careful! Now the the hardest enemy for me is I don't I don't believe there it's in this level. I think it's in the next one, and you'll see it coming up. And you probably already know what I'm talking about. It for those of you who have played this game before. But if you haven't, you really don't understand just how annoying this one and this certain enemy is. We'll get to it soon enough. Especially when you're playing it for the first time. Oh, okay, I really didn't want the stopwatch. The boomerang was really good, especially. Yeah! Oh, okay! I thought I could make it. Oh, careful. Careful. Medusa heads, they can be really annoying, especially when there's multiple enemies around, but, I mean, you can you can avoid them pretty easily. Um, they just have a very uh, odd pattern, I guess. They have a wave pattern, and when you're first playing it... Oh, I got an extra life. When you're first playing it, it's, it can be super frustrating. And now we have the dagger, which is better than nothing. And, oh, another reason why the game is so difficult is because a lot of times enemies will just pop out in front of you and you have, like, a fifth of a second to react. It's ridiculous. These points. I'm glad I got that extra life. Now, for the next extra life, I think you have to get 90,000. I don't know why it's not in 30,000 increments, but I believe it's 90. I, I haven't played this game in a long time. I definitely want that. The the dagger... Oh, careful. <laughs> careful. The dagger is really only kind of a last resort special weapon. You really want something other than the dagger. And the stopwatch is really good, although, like I said before, it eats up a lot of ammo. Now, coming up here, there should be some health right basically where I'm standing right here. Let's see. Yeah. Now, I don't need it, but just to show you guys. Oh, get that, get that. Why hearts? Out of everything that could be possible, that they could draw to possibly portray ammo, they choose hearts. Oh, whatever! That did not touch me. That is so cheap. That's another thing. You gotta be careful on these. They will get you, even even if you're like a pixel or two away. Especially this one for some reason. Even and it doesn't even look like it's uh, it can go down far enough for it to hit me, but it can, and it just did. And go. 
And even if you touch the sides of those, they will kill you. I have learned from horrible, horrible experience. Die, ghost thing. Ah. And the bat. If I can get... I need to try and trigger the bat. Oh, oh, oh okay. I guess that triggers it. Uh, yeah. No, we definitely want the holy water, especially for the boss fight that's gonna come up. Uh, holy water is the best weapon against the boss that's coming up. Now those giant dragon head things, they take six hits with a uh, fully, ch with a full, um, I guess, morning star. Uh, they take eight with a whip, I believe. And they will shoot fire at you. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Double. Hey, there we go. Now I got a full morning star. Diamond. Deuce ahead. Can we get a third? Looking for a triple attack. If we don't get it, that's okay. We'll, we'll still win. Yes. Now, Medusa head. She is pretty easy. Especially if you have the holy water just like that. Ah, it was simple. Get the red orb. And we're off to the next level. Get my extra points. Oh, like, I've finished some levels where I have, like, 60 or 70 hearts for ammo. And, um, you get a lot of extra points, but that, the sound it makes is so annoying when it's counting it down. Okay, now this is my favorite song in the game. Nope. Bad. Okay, right there. That is the worst enemy in the game. The, okay, get a crucifix for... This is the most frustrating enemy. Because the way he moves. It's a hunchback, I believe. I would love to hear a... Like a, an electronic remix of this song. I bet there is a... I bet there is one out there. I just don't know it. Come on. Aha! Those crows can be super annoying. No, no. Oh, good. They won't fly back up at you if you're um, above them, because they usually start above you, and if they go below you, they usually don't fly back up. Now, this guy, I'm going to throw this down here. The problem with uh, using special weapons on stairs is that um, you have to use to use your special weapon. You have to hit up and oh stop. You have to hit up and uh, the one button on the on the Wii mode. But as you probably just saw, if you hit up near the stairs, you're gonna go up. And if you go down, you're gonna go down, of course. But if you hit left or right, you can go up or down as well. So trying to use um, like if I want to use my holy water right here, I have to quickly press. Uh, up and one at the same time, otherwise I move, and it can be really distracting when you're trying to fight enemies while on the stairs, namely those stupid crows. Oh, ju no, just keep moving. One, one good trick is just keep running like that to avoid the Medusa heads. Ha! Oh, that was easy. Just keep running. Just like uh, Dory in Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. And no, we do not want that. That's a stopwatch. Uh, we're coming near the uh, boss fight. Eh, eh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Phew. We're coming near the boss fight. And... Oh. Haha. -ha. And the stopwatch has no effect on the boss. Six. Now, the boss fight um, without the holy water is, uh, it can be pretty difficult. It is beatable, but having the holy water really helps out. Uh -huh. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hiya! Hiya! Oh, uh, uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hiya! Hiya! And you too! Nope, just keep running. Uh, uh. Oh, look at that! It gives me invisibility there. Anyway, here's... Oh! Oh! 
Oh, that was close. That was too close. That was a dagger. And a uh, dagger sucks against these enemies. So right below me is health, but I don't need it. So to trigger these, um, this boss fight, you need to go here, and then get back up here quickly. And now, just wait for them to come over, and you just, you just hit them with holy water. It's a very cheap way of defeating the boss, but you know what? I've only been on easy level so far, and uh, I'm, I don't feel guilty at all. Ha ha ha! Ha! <laughs> I remember last time I played that, I, I had the dagger, and it took me like three tries to beat the mummies um, using it, because you have to come down to the, the base platform and try to hit them, and they shoot like these... It's like they shoot their bandages at you. And of course, if they touch you, you get hurt too. So it was really difficult. Now, speaking of difficult, this level, when I first played this game, this took me so long to beat. Because the level itself can be difficult, but also the boss fight is almost impossible. Oh, shoot! I was just gonna say, the boss fight is nearly impossible without the holy water. And I can get the holy water back, but now I lost my triple attack. And the holy water with the triple attack is one of the... Why did I do that? Why did I, I didn't mean to jump. It's one of the only ways to beat him, as far as I know. I mean, there's probably other ways, and um, but I, I believe it's the easiest. And oh! Oh, stop. Right here is the holy water, yep. Die. And uh, jump, and duck. Those stalactites, uh, <laughs> I found out they're not just background. They will knock you off if you're not ducking. <laughs> Alright. They really could use some health. I hate how they... I hate how the bats fly. It's not a, It's not exactly in a straight line. They kind of do a, a, a dip down, dip up kind of thing. It's so annoying. Isn't this the song from the first level? I think I just real. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! No! 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 Oh! Oh shoot! No! Uh. Oh no! 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 That is not fair. Usually the birds don't come from behind. Ah! No! Go away! Oh my gosh! How many are you? Uh, run! That's the one trick I learned. You just keep running. Oh, extra life. Oh, it's 80,000 points for an extra life. It's 30, then 80, and then I don't know the rest. Oh, man. I think it's it's either one or two more hits, and I'm dead. That's another thing. If you have all this health bar up there, why is it that when you get hit, it's not just one bar that gets taken away? It's like two, three, or four. Ridiculous. Now, okay, now this candle right here, we do not want that. That is... I, I, I can't think of any time... Oh, no! Oh, I, I was facing the wrong way. Shoot. Oh, man. Now it's going to be really tough being the boss now. I don't think I've ever done it without the holy water. Come here, you. Sweet. Well, that was easy. Uh, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, see? Eh. Oh. <laughs> the dagger actually did something twice! Look at that! Come here. Come here. Eh. Uh, I should have saved that health back there. Although, if I would want... I think if I had gone back for the health, the enemy might have respawned. I can't remember for sure, though. Now, there's... N I, I'm calling it right now. There's no way I can win with the amount of health I have and the lack of... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, see, there's no way. He, like, uh, the hunchback, he he moves sporadically and he, th he shoots fireballs at you, and you have to avoid uh, Frankenstein's monster. Oh my gosh, come on. These turds. 
Alright. I can take four hits and I'm dead. Oh, come on! Come on, come on. Alright. Hey, double, double dagger. Huh. I don't think I've ever had a double dagger against the boss fight. So, it might give us an advantage. Oh, I'm missing all those. Oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, did you see that? Jump backwards. Whoa. Oh, come on. Ah! And you cannot kill the hunchback either. You can only stall him. Oh, no way, no way, no way. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that is the closest I have ever gone without the holy water. Ah! Come here. Stop it! I, I, wh what did I just say? Stop it! Ah! Man, that was so close. Great. I can only take, uh... I can only take three hits. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, great. One hit. That, that, oh, yeah. It'd be a miracle. All right. Oh, plus only one dagger. That that's just great. Oh, <laughs> uh, go away, go away. Oh, <sighs> actually did better than I thought. Well, I'm gonna end the episode right here, and we'll start up back on the next episode. So thanks for watching. Tune in next time for frequencies for frequencies. Let's play of Castlevania episode two. See you later.